you guys believe me if I told you that every single one of these figures in front of you right now is touching? Well, you better believe it. This all starts with John Laurinaitis fist bumping Cody Rhodes. It wraps all the way around the arena and it is a full chain reaction action figure setup. This is absolutely insane. I'm going to explain everything going on in here. It might look like nothing from here, but this is absolutely insanity. So we're going to take a look and let's do it. Like I had already explained, starting off first, we got John Laurinaitis delivering a fist bump to Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is taking that fist bump during an interview as he super kicks Sheamus in the back of the head. Sheamus is delivering the 10 beats to the Baron to Finn Balor over the barricade as Finn Balor does a drop kick or not a drop kick, more of like a coup de grace type maneuver right to the freaking face of Chris Jericho. That looks a little menacing, I'm not going to lie. As Chris Jericho code breakers freaking uh, Shelton Benjamin to the back. I know it's not to the face, but he's still delivering a code breaker to the back, so sort of like a back breaker. As Shelton Benjamin delivers a drop kick to the arm of uh, Matt Riddle. As Matt Riddle does a little head scissor Hurricane Rana to Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman is getting kicked in the back by Damian Priest as Damian Priest is about to get big endinged by Big E. Damian Priest is also delivering a second maneuver, a kick to the back of Bobby Lashley as Bobby Lashley delivers the hurt lock, the master lock. Right there, looking wicked to the Ultimate Edition Kane, that brand new Ultimate Edition out of the ring from Mattel Creation. If you guys haven't seen that review, check it out. He's eating that hurt lock like a man as he delivers, yes, the big boot to Bubba Ray Dudley. And yeah, I know that's not touching Bubba Ray Dudley, but you guys get the point. I didn't want to push it forward, otherwise it would knock over all of these figures. So just pretend that that is touching. Hopefully you guys are fine with that. Um, here we have the Dudley boys doing a 3D. Bubba Ray is lifting Drew McIntyre over to Devon Dudley to deliver a 3D over Sin Cara. Dude, look at that. They're doing that to Drew McIntyre as Devon delivered a boot to Gunther. It got caught by the left arm, uh, uh, left arm of Gunther as Gunther delivers a chop to the chest of Angelo Dawkins. As Angelo Dawkins gets zigzagged by Dolph Ziggler, he is holding on to Ricochet with his hand right there. Not exactly sure why. Ricochet is jumping out of the crowd on top of the big show right there and Big Show caught him with his one hand as Big Show is about to deliver a scorpion death drop to Sin Cara who's under Drew McIntyre and Sin Cara just delivered a nice little drop kick to the back of Alberto Del Rio as Alberto Del Rio is doing the cross arm breaker to Eddie Guerrero who is getting kicked in the face by Randy Orton as Randy Orton delivers the RKO to a Jeff Hardy who just did a massive move off the top turnbuckle to Triple H as he was landing. Randy Orton hit that RKO. Triple H is getting hit by Jeff Hardy. Triple H is also delivering a pedigree to Christian as he gets big booted in the face by the monster, the Nigerian giant Omas. As Omas grabs the leg of Sami Zayn, he is attempting to maybe do a powerbomb, but he's got the leg. He's got the leg right there. Sami Zayn is delivering a Halula kick to Dominic Mysterio right into the steel post as Dominic Mysterio does a 619 to Seth freaking Rollins as Seth Rollins delivers a curb stomp to Karrion Cross. Rey Mysterio is doing a hit scissor Hurricane Rana off the top rope as he delivers a Tornado DDT to Sheamus. Sheamus, who is also grabbing the leg of Batista, as Batista is about to deliver a power bomb to The Undertaker. Look at that! I'm geeking out. The Undertaker's balancing on the ropes. And freaking Batista is about to do a powerbomb. Nothing is holding. There's no string, no glue, no tack right there. Batista's about to do a powerbomb to Undertaker off the freaking apron. And if you guys are wondering how the Undertaker is staying put, Sting, yes, is holding his hand. But the Undertaker's going old school. And he was he, he was balancing the ropes, holding on to Sting. And he's about to get powerbomb by Batista, bro. Sting, as he's about to get 
old schooled by The Undertaker, is delivering a Scorpion Death Drop to Dolph Ziggler, who is breaking up a pinfall that Kevin Owens was going for on Bobby Lashley. Rick Boogs is kicking Kevin Owens in the side of the head as Rick Boogs is about to get suplexed by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar, who is getting chop blocked by The Miz. If you guys could see him down there, he's going right after the leg as Kurt Angle does an ankle lock to The Miz. Edge is hitting a spear to Kurt Angle. Edge just got jumped off of by Ali, who was able to somehow turn this maneuver into a maneuver on Johnny Gargano. He's got his head, he's got his neck, maybe it's like a, a, a type of DDT or a slam to the mat, but he's got Gargano, and that is where it ends. You guys can let me know now in the comments down below what you guys thought of the chain reaction WWE action figure setup. Currently, this setup is on pause right now, and once we hit play, everything is going to happen, at least in our imagination. I wish it could all happen at once, but look, Everything that would happen if we pressed play. Oh my god, dude. The action and the carnage would be insane. And it all started with the fist bump from Johnny Laurinaitis right there. And also, it realistically started with a pinfall that I made between Kevin Owens and Bobby Lashley. My brother had told me to make the most realistic pinfall I can. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And then we just started adding setups onto it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. We should do like a chain reaction WWE action figure setup. You guys can let me know what you guys thought about the idea now in the comments down below. We had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, this was definitely the hardest part. Right here was the freaking 3D over. I'm for real, bro. That's over Sin Cara. Oh, like, that's freaking insanity, dude. Like, what the frick, dude? And like I said, that's the only part of the setup that's not touching, but you guys get the idea. Kane would have delivered the big boot to Bubba Ray Dudley. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like in the video. Let's see if we could reach a 1,000 likes. And subscribe to Bread Alive. Peace, guys. Bread Alive. Out. Right Feeling like a sub gear. Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my head